so that's a big one coming up i think it's in actually yeah two weeks do you have do you i mean do you watch much of the boxing are you interested in it are you going to tune in yeah and you know what it's kind of interesting because since I blew up, obviously there's going to be a parallel drawn between my brother and I, Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, Tate brothers, Logan, and, and yeah. all the Paul brothers. I actually quite like Jake, and I think he trains really hard. Yeah. And I think he's dedicated to the sport, and he's seriously actually a boxer. I don't think he's a YouTuber. I think he's a boxer. Mm -hmm. Logan's still a YouTuber. So they're, they're in different parallels. I wish Jake the absolute best for his career. Um, I think he's far better than Logan. If I were to fight either of them, Jake would be much harder to beat. Logan. Andrew Tate is smart, bro. This technique that Andrew Tate is doing is what we people call divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Meaning, divide the two. He's going to make them go against each other, even though they're kind of already going against each other in like family ways, but like really go against each other. Jake versus Logan Paul. And then Andrew Tate can take over in some way, partner with Jake Paul and do some other shit just to piss Logan off. And then get Logan so wild up that he fights Andrew Tate. It could just be a big ass ploy, bro. But this dude is definitely doing some divide and conquer monopoly bullshit. And then he is a chess player too, so you gotta be careful with these chess players. The whole world is their chessboard. The whole world is their fucking chessboard, and they will play you like a motherfucker, bro. Cause they're thinking four steps ahead of you.